believe it or not, since I was in the back room there by the bar, being quizzed by Rick and by Sue, by Barry as well actually, on child poverty, on other issues, this is all from my selection, on other issues that matter so much here in Lincoln. And over that time, since the last election, you all here, you have done so much. Helena, don't make me cry. Helena, don't make me cry. You, you've been amazing. You've done so much. You have canvassed, you have delivered, you have fundraised. We have spoken to 20,000 people in this short campaign alone. Yes! <laughs> and for the country tomorrow. We know what a close seat Lincoln is. We're asking them to vote for a different direction for our, for our country. We're asking them to say, we've had five years of a Tory government led by David Cameron and George Osborne. Five years of um, unfairness, of the National Health Service going backwards. Five years where working people have worked hard, but the bills have gone up year on year faster than wages and people are worse off. Yeah, we can yeah. next week... Um, get rid of the bedroom tax and start from day one to stop that unfairness. We can get to work straight away to guarantee jobs for all young people. And we've got 36 more hours to put that effort in. And to say to the people in Lincoln, if you want to change things and you think it's not fair, and if you can't afford five more years of the Conservatives, we need you to come out and use your votes and to vote for Labour. Let's get those votes out. Let's get the crosses on the ballot papers. Let's get on and change Britain with Lucy Rigby in Parliament as the next member of, of, of Parliament for the Lincoln constituency. I've been to Lincoln since Lucy became the candidate. I've talked to seamen, to the health service, to a group of small businesses. We were at a big um, steel forging plant just a few weeks ago. Back now talking to party activists. And the reason we keep coming back is because Lucy is a great candidate. It's a seat we need to win. And um, she is tough and tough the morning we come along. And that's what you want from a local MP. So I'm going to say I'm going to put Lincoln first. And she's certainly succeeding in doing that. We're just going to translate this now into votes in the general election tomorrow. I think she'll make a great MP. This morning, I've been Stevenage, Peterborough, and now in Lincoln. All seats the Tories won in 2010. All seats where people are worse off than they were five years ago, or where the NHS is going backwards. We've said there's three ways the money is going to come. From a levy on the tobacco companies, from the tax on now with over £2 million, and also from closing a particular hedge fund tax loophole, which is costing us huge amounts of money. Together, those three measures, when they're fully up and running, is £2.5 billion. Pounds. And we can get all that money coming in in the next financial year. But I think we can make a start this year. I want to have a big cash injection. I'm not sure I can get to the full 2.5 billion this year, definitely by next year. But we'll start the recruitment of nurses next week. We'll get to 20,000 more nurses, 8,000 more doctors over the next four years. And it starts now. And the faster I can go, the better. Because our NHS is under pressure now, it needs saving now, it doesn't need promises, it needs action. And uh, that action Labour will deliver straight away. I am not confident at all. Everything depends on people in Lincoln coming out tomorrow and putting the cross in the box next to my name. That's all that matters. You can, you know, polls, they don't mean anything. What matters is that people turn out tomorrow and vote. That's the only thing. Firstly, well, the first thing, actually, and I compared to this last time, I said Paul McCartney would be the Tory MP that we've had for the last five years. I don't think that he's been particularly good at doing the casework stuff or doing the surgery. That's what people have said to me, anyway. So I want to be a particularly good constituency MP, and that's why I'm going to say I'm going to do at least twice the number of surgeries that Paul McCartney's done, because that's what really matters to me. That's what matters to me.